I recently saw a documentary on the 2000 NFL Draft where Tom Brady was selected 199th overall by the Patriots in the sixth round. Going into the draft, Brady's passing stats were solid, but nothing special. His arm strength and accuracy was average, and his combine results were abysmal. The one thing he could do, though, was win. A lot. In his very first full season, Brady led Michigan over Arkansas to win the Citrus Bowl. The following season, Brady led Michigan to multiple fourth quarter comebacks, including a dramatic win over Ohio State to make it to the Orange Bowl. And of course, Brady won yet again in the Orange Bowl, beating Alabama in overtime. Because football and hockey are team games, sometimes being part of a winning team is just a coincidence. But sometimes, it's more than that. And in the case of Tom Brady and Joe Pavelski, winning is no coincidence. Little Joe Pavelski, drafted 205th overall in the seventh round of the 2003 NHL draft, was also seen as flawed. Too small, can't skate. Too small, can't skate. Despite his limitations, winning seemed to follow Pavelski around a lot. Pavelski led his high school hockey team to a state championship, his USHL team to a Clark Cup victory, and the Wisconsin Badgers to an NCAA title. Unlike Brady, Pavelski has yet to win at the pro level, but like Brady, his incredible career made his low draft selection look crazy. The four-time All-Star has the most playoff goals by any American player, he finished top five in goals three times and top ten in points twice. By the time his career is over, he'll be the leading goal scorer in arguably the greatest draft in NHL history, even though 204 players were picked before him in the draft. Why? Other than the fact that you can't measure heart and character, the USHL didn't have the kind of profile it has today. In 2002, it had five less teams and a much smaller impact on the NHL as scouts preferred European leagues, major junior, or D1 athletes to the USHL. In the five years prior to Bavelski's draft, only one USHL player was selected in the first round. Last season alone, there were six, and in 2019, there were nine. In 2002, Pavelski finished first in the USHL in goals and tied for third in points. Interestingly enough, tied with David Backus, another overlooked USHL star. Backus, however, was four inches taller, 20 pounds heavier, and a much better skater. So he was picked in the second round, 62nd overall. Still very much overlooked, but nowhere near as much as Pavelski. Pavelski just couldn't skate. At least not NHL caliber skating, and at 5'11", 190, he was considered small in the clutch and grab era where hulking players were a must. Only Pat Funk, San Jose's Midwestern Regional Scout, believed in Pavelski, as he constantly badgered San Jose's director of scouting, Tim Burke, to take him higher in the draft. Funk was the only San Jose scout to see Pavelski play in person, which really is the only way you can understand the elite level hockey IQ Little Joe brought to the table. In my research, I also kept hearing the word character again and again. Pavelski just worked harder and wanted it more than other players. With a handful of exceptions, young NHL forwards usually follow a familiar trajectory with their production. After their rookie season, there are usually small to modest improvements in points and then a breakthrough year somewhere between their second and fifth seasons. Only rare players such as the Sedin Twins and Jonathan Huberdeau, players that are driven to succeed and constantly improve, tend to peak much later. Statistically, Pavelski peaked in his eighth season. In 2014, he finished third in goals, eighth in points, and earned a spot on the NHL's second All-Star team. This late peak is an indication of character and dedication, but Pavelski does have actual skills as well. His shooting percentage is usually four or five percentage points higher than the NHL average, and his shot is now considered elite. 
His hand-eye coordination is also elite, and that gives him many more ways to score than other one-dimensional goal scorers. Pavelski regularly scores goals in many different ways, and when he does, it's often on the power play, as he's a renowned specialist with the man advantage. Add to that his above-average performance in face-offs and shootouts, and it's clear why teams he played for just seem to win. Pavelski was named Little Joe early in his career to contrast him with his six foot four line mate Big Joe Thornton. However, Thornton has moved on and Pavelski's career has increased his stature immensely. Over time, his nickname has changed and he certainly earned his latest one, the Big Pavelski.